वेलकम बैक टू माई नॉलेज शेयर चैनल लर्न विथ मी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद दी सी पी आई दैट इज क्लाउड प्लेटफॉर्म इंटग्रेशन इन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सी दी अनदर टॉपिक कॉल्ड दी फिल्टर ओके दी लास्ट लास्ट सेशन वी वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट दी स्प्लिटर सपोज इफ द पे लोड कंटाइंस the multiple elements then sorry the message contains multiple element then we that composite message is splitted into uh, small small messages based on the uh, the some criteria called ticket id the last session we saw that uh, the input message contain five tickets and uh, the message is splitted into five small small messages okay in today we are going to see about the filter point what is a filter okay so let, let us take this as example uh, this is my uh, incoming message uh, a composite message contains five tickets created on a particular day okay in that you have <coughs> different tickets with different priorities suppose you want to filter out a particular type of tickets only either based on the priority or based on the type okay uh, in this case we have two identification category like either i will go by priority i will go by type in type i have infra application infra hardware and infra and the priority i have two priority one tickets and three priority two tickets so suppose if a requirement is to filter out only the priority one ticket suppose i want to extract out of this five five tickets i want to extract only the two tickets that is id id number 4 and 5 how will i do that that we will see it now okay now i will go to my design and i, I already created uh, to cut short my the video time i already created the i flow i will explain the the components one by one okay this is the demo filter i created So the demo filter, as I already started with this blank I flow, then I created one component called JSON to XML, and other one is actual the filter criteria, which is we are going to see now. After that, out the output I am modifying according to my according to my template. Okay, that I will we will see that. So this is the more focusing point. Okay, okay. Now this is my input. message it contains a header called help desk and have five array of tickets why i want this json to xml because my input is json but in the filter criteria i am going to specify the x path uh, so that i need to convert the json to xml okay so json to xml is as is really simple Just create it and leave it as it is. Uh, put the default configuration as it is. Now I am coming to the filter portion. Filter portion you can create. I can show you how to create it. If you, if you go here, then you can search for a filter here. You click, then you will have a filter here. With that, you can select it and. Do it now. I am not going to do anything here. Okay. Okay. Now I will go to the filter. In the filter, you will have the uh, general, which you can name the. Uh, I will say priority one. Priority one. Okay. Then I will go to the processing. 
in the processing I gave the X path like this what is this X path you have a double slash tickets this double slash ticket is it will go to here it will go to here then I am going to take the priority so that I give slash slash tickets priority so since it is an array since this is an array so I have to use this square bracket so tickets priority 1 then my output should be we have a, a the output different types of output either in a boolean or integer or node or node list or string so we will see one by one but in our case it is a node list because it may contain multiple tickets so it is a list so what i will do is i will select node list okay that's it Now what I am going to do it content multiplier, it is my additional requirement which actually which is not much relevant to this uh, discussion but just to understand what I am going to do it here. In the message body I am just, I want, I want it in a this way which started with root, the output, okay. Then Finally, again uh, turning back to XM, uh, JSON, so I will use this converter. Okay. Okay. That is the filter is a pretty simple. That is a very straightforward. We will see that now. So I will go to the filter portion. In the processing, I will give tickets priority equal to one, and output is a node list. Okay. Now I will save it. So as I already told you, I, I don't need to deploy it, I can simulate it and find it out the step by step questions. So I will go here, put my starting point. So simulation start is there and up to this simulation end, I put it. So I will copy the input So we will go here and it is exactly like a postman where you will be sending the body so I am simulating as it is like a postman so I am sending the body here cut and paste my input I don't send any a header or I don't send any header or properties only body I am sending it. Okay. Okay. Now I will, since the simulation start and end are defined, I will simulate now. Run simulation. So <coughs> it is simulating. Okay. If any error it will come. Other right now there is no error. Simulation completely successful. So when the simulation is completed, so you can see the message content in every completion of each palette. So, so I will say at the beginning what was my body, it is a body as it is I sent it out. After the JSON to XML conversion, my body will be looking like this. So far so good. And now this is the place, from this it contain all 5 tickets right, 1, 2, 1. 2, 3, 4 and 5 tickets. Now after this filter, this XML should contain only 2 tickets which are 4 and 5, right? Which are 4 and 5. These are priority 1, other one is priority 2. So I will come here, priority 2, go to the body, see? It filtered out. It contain only 4 and 5. So in the content modifier, I am just, in th this is an additional thing which you may require or not. Because I want to convert back to JSON, I will, I will, I have to modify the XML to like this. 
like this adding a root here right then finally you will get this output so only 4 and 5 are coming out ok now you saw that now you saw that the node list part ok now we will discuss about node when we say node last time we when you say node list it gives 4 and 5 right now it will give only one node you can see that now, now this simulation set is up same so I am running it again are all same now after this you see the body it will contain only one first node first appearance of that priority one so it is not picking up the 0 5 so that is the difference between the node list and node ok now let me go for string when you say string it's something different uh, no node no tags nothing will be there all strings are concatenated and you will get an output ok now you can see the output here the body is this item number 4 description priority 1 and type all 4 values are concatenated and to a single string that is the that is the the string part integer will not give anything because our output will be a string so when you select integer then it will become uh, not available na will come ok now boolean when you say boolean it will become true or false based on whether the priority 1 ticket is existing in the payload or not in our case it, it we should expect a true here let us try ok now let us see the output it become true that is it. So, this is the uh, filter uh, in the uh, CPI through which you can extract any particular type of uh, data from your incoming message and process it ok. Hope uh, this session will be helpful to you. The next session we will see another, another interesting topic uh, probably I will discuss about the A distribution a parallel distribution of the message ok uh, ok called the multicasting ok I am thinking of that let me see and uh, please please do comment and please do put your questions uh, that will give encouragement to me and if, if you have any questions please comment it I will answer it ok thank you thank you so much